Well, I feel better now because I thought we were gonna wreck a bunch of stuff because Dustin's here. Every time he shows up, the party gets elevated quickly. The Rocky Ridge is making me proud. I just don't know that I'm making Rocky Ridge proud right now. <laughs> we always come up with great ideas at the most appropriate times. I'm most excited to get everybody back out to Sand Hollow again. You know, take everybody riding, take the Tacoma back out, Mr. Malmus Lynn. It's always get good to get them out of the office. But also, man, International Off-Road Day, it's going to be a lot of cool people that we don't get to see very often is, uh, is always a really good time. Contemplating how comfortable I'm about to be riding in the back seat of this Denali. Well, I'm just trying to do your job checking all the pro R parts in before we leave. Boom! Boom, Luke! I don't even know how to check in parts. It's already going bad. 4.4 pounds of ducks. I'm just trying to claim Mr. Buck's truck. Even though I'm driving the noble steed, he left it quite filthy. And I can't stand it. But beyond that, we're getting ready to leave, Shane. That's what we're looking for. That's round one of trying to go. Now we're waiting, so we'll try again on round two. We were literally almost there. We were literally almost Yeah, I mean, I was moving. We are finally ready. I think I'm actually the one that was holding us up this time. Usually it's Miss Linda. I'm just kidding. It's never Miss Linda. It's never Miss Linda. You had some brownie points on that. Sometimes it has been me. I will confess. Yes, it has. So this time it was me holding everybody up. But we're finally ready. Let's hit the road. We are on the road headed to Sand Hollow in Utah. Not as big of a crew this year, but a crew that ain't scared to do some obstacles. So it should be a good time. If there's one thing our my audience, I guess our audience, does not know about me yet is I do not like traveling very much. We are 17 hours and some change into the 20 hour drive. I've got pressure sores on my butt from sitting for so long. But I'm a machine and I'm gonna push through and make this drive like it's nothing. We're at 3239. Where we're staying for at San Alo. I'm excited. Well, we had some emergency stops. Oh, hey buddy. Good tip. You have no idea. All the Long day of driving when we thought it was only going to be seven and a half hours, turned into 12. But we're here, so that's all that matters. And in one piece. No flat, didn't have any problem. No trailer brake, but we're going to fix that before I go home. It's long. It's always long. But whenever you get here, you see how beautiful it is, and you get ready to ride, you don't remember that drive. That drive was just part of the journey to get here. Now is when the fun starts. getting ready to go for our first ride. I have no idea where we're going. And so I'm just trying to get ready to go, ready to wheel the Tacoma for the second time in San Hollow. Man, you know, we're out here today, San Hollow, Trail Hero event. I'm getting to hang with the S3 guys. Let's do this thing. I didn't sleep last night. I set like 17 alarms. I didn't need them because I couldn't sleep a wink. I'm just excited to be out here and uh, be part of the crew. It's gonna be a good day. And uh, hopefully, if we're lucky, I'm gonna see this Tacoma do some really wild stuff. <laughs> she gets to see the Yoda this time. Uh, Bust the old taco. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be trashed. That's what I said too. How are you doing, man? Are Good to see you, yes, sir. Yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be a fun day. So coincidentally, we ran into some of our friends from uh, back out uh, in the south. So Joey and Ryan just showed up with their whole families. They got Jeeps out here for this week. Just so happens they got a little house down the road from us. So. We're fixing to take them boys for a ride, and we're going out with uh, Casey Curry. It's always a good time with Casey Curry. And so, uh, what's fun about today is some of the Tempt guys are filming for Monster with Casey and with us. And then you guys are here, so there's gonna be camera people everywhere. It's almost like we're famous. It's Mr. Mal that's mainly the most famous, but. No. <laughs> it's time to get this thing fired up right. Just the first day, right off the jump, we're going big. We got everything loaded up, we're rolling. I'm, I'm, well, I feel better now because I thought we were gonna wreck a bunch of stuff because Dustin's here and every time he shows up, the party gets elevated quickly. But he's in a Jeep, so I feel much better. So now we can get him in trouble. Something 
something we do out here that Adobe's taught me. Everybody here actually is supposed to add one until it falls and then then I don't know what happens. I think you get cursed for like a hundred years. Oh, and just like that, I'm a big winner out here and uh, San Hollis really got luck in my favor. So uh, Josh, tell me what's going on, what trail we on? Uh, we're, I don't know the name of the trail, but I know uh, we are close to the uh, secret bunker. Hold on, let me get my white balance right. Oh, okay. Uh, are you shooting this tight wide or where you at on this? Wide tight. What's that cheap one you got? <laughs> Y'all just rub them together. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. He, when Dustin's ready to ride, he's ready to ride. Y'all gonna have to figure that out. We gotta go. You know they're out there trying to do hippie things, stacking rocks and stuff. I'm trying to ride. My group is moving slow. Casey already gone? You know Casey is so wired up and got such bad ADD. He immediately is gone, so we gotta catch back up again. Let's go. There's sweet sauce right there. They've been pulling up here for 30 minutes. This went through in three seconds. Listen, Dustin showed you, so Ryan, what you're saying, Dustin showed you what not to do? Orange spots is made up. They have a show people like you this. The Rocky Ridge is making me proud. I just don't know that I'm making Rocky Ridge proud right now. But overall, we're out. And I mean, Ryan's hung up too, so. If I'm not making it, nobody's making it today. Be all right. You just evened up the sides, Ryan. Don't worry about it. We got the left side last trip. Yeah, yeah. We might can just pop that one back on. I mean, it looks too soft with those on there anyway. Fender delete on Mr. Mouse. Got it. Making sure Dustin never has a fair chance to climb this whatsoever. All right, hey y'all, watch out! Hey girls, watch out! That tree is not sounding <laughs> healthy. If anybody's man enough to break this tree, it's him. There it is. We got our first little glitch, so we're good now. Ready to roll? Is it deep right there or something? Yeah, the the right side is a little deep. Casey's tire was all the way underwater, so it's probably about 35 inches deep. Should we try it? I think we should. Oh, if anyone could do it, Dustin has got this. This is like, this is his. He's in his natural element right now. So what we all go through? Yeah, That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. Hey, this is like dirt track. Turn left, go right. Let's do this, buddy. All right, so here we are. We're a quarter mile into a nine mile trail. This should be about a five minute drive from the start. I mean, we're, we're 500 feet from the trailhead. We haven't even dropped into the hard stuff yet. But this guy's hooting and hollering. Look. <laughs> Let me just assess the damage right quick. I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb after that. car, watch it go. Yeah, this is a little bit of a tight spot. He's filling up with water. I don't want the ship to sink. We came around the corner and it was underwater. So there's that. I think there was a plan of it putting him in the hole, but I don't think it was literally in the hole. I don't know what happened there. Like he was sitting and it was deep. Don't get me wrong, it was deep. But as soon as he started spinning, it literally dropped another 12 to 14 inches. That's crazy. That didn't turn out exactly like I hoped. I trusted my friends. I trusted the curries. 
They will steer you wrong in case you're wondering. They will help you make bad decisions. They didn't do it for me because I had to make the decisions. But your friends will talk you into making bad decisions. I led it by his example. <laughs> Fortunately, it's uh, we're past summer in Louisiana where we ain't getting real That's funky. True. That's true. Otherwise, it gets super mildewy in here. We found the treasure at the end of the rainbow. Waterfall. Yeah, lights for living. I don't fight the feeling. Never quite alone. Some people rank in the middle. I like that. Yeah, life for living. I don't fight the feeling. I didn't like they tone. I had I don't feel like anybody in our group can pass a good cliff dive when the water is deep enough. So water's cold, I'll tell you that. You know it's summertime, but good wrap up to a good ride. Great day. Besides a few dents and dings in the Rocky Ridge Jeep, I'm proud of that thing. It did amazing, and it was a fun day riding with the Currys, as always, man. They're like our group, and it's just steps up and steps up, and it's just, bro, it's just fun riding with those guys. So we'll keep it rolling. It's about his trails. We have a good day plan. Taking spare tires off so we don't tear tailgates up. Uh, just about ready, I think. I was on a bunch of calls, working on the acting career on mowing. Basically, basically my uh, whole morning was just pumping Dustin Jones up. You know what I mean? It's I couldn't get him to come over and pick my car up, fill it full of fuel, give me breakfast and something to drink. It was just too much to ask. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't get it. What are friends for? Cars are filled up, ice chests are full, so we're ready to go. Very good run. The plan today is a free-for-all, unless Luke has already planned it out. So we gotta see if he actually followed through and got it all lined up. Are we gonna film Logan eating the banana? Oh, look yeah, at that, that thing. It that. is a perfect <laughs> banana. Because he opens Logan, it. Logan, put it all, put it, <laughs> Logan, put it all the way to the stem and bite it. Go ahead. No, no, no. My mouth's not big enough for that. If everything goes wrong, it's 100% gonna be my fault. And I'm betting it at all going wrong, so. It's not going to be a good day for me. I'm ready to go, man. I'm going to see some new sights today. Places I've never been. Man, I am having a great time. Two-wheel drive all the way out here. So I can throw some dirt and have some fun, man. Sliding around. And this is an awesome view here, too, by the way. What's the furthest one? El Bay oh, yeah. Hills, a thousand. Oh, okay. oh. Walker Valley, 1183. Should we put a Shreveport one on here? Oh, yeah, I think. Should we put an S3 Power Sports? Yeah. 9,000 miles that way. <laughs> this is the first stop, and I'm not disappointed. But I mean, you always got to stop at, at the top of the world and, and look around. So that was a no brainer. We'll see how Luke's other stops go from here. You ready? Let's roll, sir. All right. Keep it moving. I don't know. I'm thinking about just letting Luke take over leading this thing, too. He keeps trying to give me the next stop, and I'm just like, you know what? You lead, Luke. Let me just follow and trail ride for once. I don't know he's not going to do that. So maybe the Flintstone house? I don't know. Maybe Plan B? Maybe Area 51? I don't know. We'll see where Luke takes us from here. She got a feeling in your soul. She got to believe it. She got to know. Oh yeah, now it's gonna get dark with a taco. This is the kind of thing you need to see from a distance. Come on. Be there. Yep, straight up. Perfect. We're gonna take the defender up. Me and Logan are gonna drop it. Yeah. Your tire's already off the ground. Oh, let him in. This is the rock crawler defender. Dang dog. This is what people consider one of the crappiest rides of the day. It's because you got your friends like that with you? Yeah, that is a big part of it. Second is we're fixing to hit the toilet bowl. There's actually an obstacle out here called the toilet bowl. Oh, my 
go, go, this way, this way. My dog! Tacos and toilet bowls tonight, baby! Woo! We celebrate! <laughs> they do go together. Taco Bell and toilet bowls go together. Great! Hey, Luke did that. I mean, I might just be the coolest guy in the world, actually, right now, on top of the toilet bowl. Yeah, Luke, uh, Logan says, don't worry about getting out the car. He's just basically uh, just come out of here. No, I'm not. Maybe last year, got an old building. <laughs> <laughs> do you also see the taco park up here and wonder how I got here? I'm not worried about this. I'm worried about that. I'm not doing that. Oh, you don't have to do that part. We're going to turn around and come back down. Tell me. Oh, yeah, we're getting that off. Yeah, we've been sitting here just talking about the toilet bowl, daring people to do it. And yeah, my boy come out on the idle. That's what you call new boot goofing. You got a dog or are you want daddy to come get you? Ooh, look at how grippy them things are. Do your slow mo. <laughs> it's cool to have Cowboy out here. It's cool to have it's cool having him out here riding with us. He's not a very good driver, but he likes to ride, and so I really appreciate that about him. Oh, sorry, we y'all doing here? Oh, I I got. I'm done. I'm done too. Have you ever been out here before, Cowboy? Uh, last year. Yeah, last year we came out here. Go ahead, we're doing our own interviews. <laughs> And so now I feel like it was just time to take everybody to the gnarly trails. You know what I mean? If we're gonna break something, let's go ahead and get it broke today. We only got one more day anyways. We pretty well got all the good riding in. So let's tear it all up today. Not bad at all. What about the Jeep though? You gotta figure it out. Oh, Mr. Mountain do it. Turn right, right now. I just need a little time, a little encouragement from Cowboy. Boom, right drop, up it. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. That's the strategy. He just let it eat, didn't he? He could have crawled up there, but he just wanted to let it, let it have a little bit. Like this way? Little uh, young sister Jones. Is in it. She's a wheel man. There you go, just like that. Keep it hard left and we'll walk around. You see a little rock crawling, no big deal. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna just spin you around a little. Yep. There you go. He's gonna have more compression now because you just took that four inch exhaust to a two inch. That was a lot of risk, but it was a lot of reward. That one was dangerous. Literally three inches one way or the other, body damage, 100%. That one's close. Go kick the whole family out of the Jeep like they're not safer in the Jeep than they are climbing around on these rocks. He obviously doesn't have confidence in his driving ability. Oh, that's a little top-down Friday afternoon thing we do. I got my baby back here with me. Play to, play to him. Tell him, hey. Yeah. Easy, Joey. You're kind of off the line. Easy. All right, now cut it so we can get it to climb the wall. Just I can pack much. all the kids in there. Can and Asher, everybody get in a Jeep. Got car seats, open top, roof. You don't want a Jeep. <laughs> Good. All right, go back. Not much. All right, get it back the other way when you can. All right, perfect. Fine. Hold on, I got a call. Woo! I got a call. I got to take this. Back that away now? Okay. Yeah, I'll call you when I get out of this. That's Max. That's Max's boy. That's Max's tires putting it down. They're called lizard fingers. Is what they're called. They're built for gripping and ripping. You're about to see another set do the same thing. 
Max's tires. Look how sticky. Just tearing my fingerprints off when you rub them. They're so sticky. Honestly, that was really impressive to watch. Those Jeeps, I thought somebody's side panel was getting replaced after that. <laughs> Solid. Ryan is setting the example for all of our boys. Now he's leading the pack. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Oh, I must have bugged his school. That thing got so rubbery out here. It smells like a tire factory. Straight your tires, baby. Go, got it. Let's do it. Hit it. Go, go, go. Hit it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Bro. I about had to buy you a can am. I almost had to buy a can am. I love can am, but I don't want to buy one today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just happened. Can you put it in park? Yeah. Go. Let me get something to drink. Kill the motor and let me get something to drink for a minute. Take a little quick nap. Yeah, I got cotton mouth from Matt. Well, that was interesting. We always come up with great ideas at the most appropriate times. Bro, a straight wheel stand. Good. Man, I ain't never seen something look so much like Josh in the Defender until she just took that X3 up that waterfall. He was up there for a minute. <laughs> We're getting things done, having a blast. Zero body damage on the week for me. Um, trying to keep it that way. And uh, man, it's been a blast. Happy to be out here. And Trail Hero is a lot of fun. Man, that is killer. Hard right. No, 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 no. It's definitely not the line. It's definitely not the line. That's for sure not Great day. No casualties. Well, maybe almost casualty. Uh, besides that, man, ripping through here. We got Jeeps, X3s. Everybody's having a good time. Almost to the end of the maze. Man, so it's the end of another good day at a sand hollow. Boys is wild, crazy things always happen. It seems like somebody always ends up in their lid. And believe it or not, it was the last obstacle of the day. So, we're easing out of the maze, going to eat a good dinner, just hang out. Relax for the night. Get ready for International Off-Road Day tomorrow. It's been a good week. <laughs>